going to cover how to debug a continuity issue at a show. And keep in mind that this technique and these methods can be used regardless of which type of firing system you're using. So for this particular example, we're going to assume that we have two queues in our show for simplicity. Um, we have Q1 and Q2 wired up with some mock electric matches. And let's say we run through continuity and Q2 shows up as bad continuity, so nothing. Um, so the first thing uh, you want to do is go out and double check that, uh, number one, you have something plugged in. Uh, once in a while you do get uh, something that's just left unplugged. Um, number two, check to make sure you have metal on metal contact on each terminal and you didn't pinch down on the insulation when you plugged it in. Um, and a good, good rule to follow either way is to pull it out, make sure the wires aren't broken, and reseat it, making sure to crimp metal on metal. Once you've done that, you go back, you check continuity again. If continuity is good now, you know that it was just a wire seating issue. If continuity is still bad, the next step you're going to want to take, there's a couple options here, but uh, what I'll recommend, what I usually do is unplug that electric match. You can make a little jumper wire. You can even cut the end of an electric match wire to make the jumper, um, or you can use a piece of zip wire, whatever you have on hand. It's essentially just a short piece of wire that you strip both ends. And we'll plug this guy in to Q2, the, the Q that was showing bad continuity, and we'll go recheck continuity. Since this guy is acting like a complete circuit, it's essentially acting like a virtual electric match. So if we check continuity and it's showing good, um, then we know that it's a bad electric match and we just have to rematch uh, that particular device. If it's still showing bad continuity after using the jumper, then we know we have a bad terminal. And depending on the type of firing system, you can approach it differently. If it's a pin board firing system and every shot is taken up in a given module, then in most circumstances, you're just going to take that extra device and double it up somewhere, either usually before or after that shot that was supposed to uh, go on Q2. Uh, in this 2Q example, you could obviously move it to Q3. If it's a pyrodigital system, you can usually move it to an open terminal and just re-address that shot. So now when the computer gets to that particular queue, it'll know to fire it from this terminal instead of this terminal.